Support WrestleTalk! Give us a subscribe. Thanks for your support on Patreon. No one names their kid this anymore. Larry. Hello and welcome to the WrestleTalk so so Super News! I'm Ollie Davis. Please press the thumbs up button and give us a subscribe to keep up to date with the biggest professional wrestling news like... Mike! At a WWE employee town hall meeting at the company headquarters yesterday, R-Truth knocked himself out when trying to leave the set because... Comedy and WWE employee Mike pinned him to become the new 24-7 champion. He even got the compulsory The Point photo with Triple H. WWE then offered Mike a contract on the condition he can do five push-ups and five sit-ups. But Truth pounced to win the title back. But that wasn't the only Mike that was dropped yesterday, as CM Punk fully debuted on WWE backstage. Yes, I did only include that story just for the mic drop segue. I'm genuinely very proud of it. Punk, of course, made his kind of WWE return at the end of last Tuesday's debut episode of the Fox Studio show WWE Backstage. Announcing See You Next Tuesday. What did he call me? Because he'll be appearing periodically on the series from now on, starting with last night's show, which opened with a recap package of his return and my reaction video to him coming back. Ollie Davis and CM Punk best friends confirmed. I would show you the actual video package, but YouTube blocked it on Fox's behalf for copyright infringement, even though it was Fox that totally used our video without contacting us first. Top, top stuff, YouTube. The reason Punk's WWE return is kind of, though, is because while he is appearing on a WWE branded show with WWE talent talking about pretty much exclusively WWE content, his contract is actually with SmackDown's network, Fox not Vince McMahon. Which means he can do stuff like call Baron Corbin's big dog skit from SmackDown garbage. I mean, this is something where the less said about it, the better. It makes me reconsider doing this show. You can't possibly defend that. The creative's bad. I don't know anything about Baron Corbin, really. He's one of the newer guys that I gotta check out, but that's a bad start. What did you think about it, Paige? Garbage, garbage. It was garbage, right, Paige? Which Paige then agreed with by doing a thumbs down and a fart noise before saying Punk's a bad influence. Because Paige just re-signed a five-year deal with WWE, and that's a long time anyway, without publicly burying the product on its own show. But I'm happy to say Punk had no such issues about critiquing WWE, giving his thoughts on the current state of wrestling. I think the product is the same when I left it. I think wrestling could be so much better, it could be so much more. Stuff's overproduced. Stuff's micromanaged. I think the best characters, the people that the people love the most throughout all of wrestling, are the characters that they get to figure stuff out themselves, instead of being told what to do by somebody who maybe never done anything, been anywhere, never drew any money, brother. I think there's a lot wrong with it, but I see a lot of bright spots. But he even had something to critique about those positives. I like all the women, I don't like the forced women's revolution thing. Just let the women be the women, and they'll show you why they kick ass and why they belong. You don't need to put a hashtag label on everything. Selfishly, I like the NXT thing, because I obviously see myself in a lot of that. I was an indie guy. I think those are the characters, for lack of a better word, less tainted. They still feel new, they're like the new toys. With the Royal Rumble just round the corner, Renee Young's questioning, of course, led to the obvious one. CM Punk return confirmed? Question mark? To which he answered, regardless of what my answer is, there's somebody who's always going to be upset by this. As I've said, I've stated, I work for Fox. I haven't talked to anybody in WWE. It's nothing that I'm actively pursuing or interested in, but I'm 41 years old and I've lived an experience life where I know not to to say no. But that's going to be a bridge that's going to have to be built and it might take as long as building the Great Wall of China because there's some hurdles. There's some hurdles there. See a bucket ring return confirmed. But for someone who isn't 
actively pursuing a wrestling return, he sure is building a feud. Following Punk's WWE backstage appearance last Tuesday, Seth, he's really good at Twitter, Rollins simply posted, Fight me, CM Punk, asked Fox to book him a flight to WWE backstage for a face-to-face -face confrontation, and then reposted a tweet from Punk yesterday with, Don't talk about me, fight me. I'll catch you right up. It's a bit of fun social media beef, slightly undermined by Seth's bad Twitter game over the last six months, where he's seen himself turn not cool in the eyes of many fans stemming from when he argued with Will Ospreay about who was the best wrestler in the world, and bringing up how big his bank account is. Brenna Young addressed Seth's challenge on WWE backstage, and Punk responded with all that loaded context to hand. I want my journalistic integrity to be intact, so this isn't the show where you come and shoot your little angles. Seth needs to stop tweeting and realize that sometimes it's better than to be viewed as the fool and shut your mouth than when you open your mouth and remove all doubt. And that Seth should just delete his Twitter because it's not doing him any favors. Some very sage advice that Seth didn't take on board, responding, Hell of a response, rolling eyes emoji, coward. Showed him there, Seth. But Punk wasn't done, as he got him one last shot in a segment at the end of the show, where he was supposed to be cutting a promo on comedian Tom Arnold, but instead slipped this one in. Go start your relevancy somewhere else, Seth. I mean, Tom. If CM Punk returns in ring, who do you think he should face and why? Let me know in the comments because I'll be replying to people from out of nowhere for the first 30 minutes after this video goes live. Speaking of replies, that gives me an idea. This week I tweeted CM Punk because we're super best friends now about when he wants to hang out or, you know, just do something. Hey CM Punk, I was in your WWE Bite This video last night and I think it means we're now best friends. I love grammar as spelling too. We can talk about grammar and watch movie and eat pizza. Pizza emoji, wizard emoji. Please retweet much love, OD kiss. I've got a good feeling about this one. Retweet that tweet. Tweet Punk himself about it. Support Wrestle Talk because one day, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not this week, maybe not even this decade, but one day, me and CM Punk will have a lovely Sunday morning together visiting a local farmer's market. <laughs> <laughs>because he might have some free time back soon, has joined that promo on Tom Arnold. He got carried away and did a cuss, saying, if I wanted S-word from you, I would have scraped your tongue, prompting Punk to issue a kind of apology, but not really, after the show. I don't know if I have a job anymore. Apparently you can't swear. Apparently you can't do a few things. But I feel great, because I got to be myself and I got to be brutally honest. And that's what it is. And that's what this show's going to be. Punk also cheekily teased Renee Young, asking her who her favorite man of the shield was a reference to her real life aew contracted husband john moxley which she very diplomatically said i like them all equally but young isn't the only one with aew connections interestingly punk revealed that only 10 to 12 people knew about his wwe backstage appearance ahead of time presumably not counting all the major wrestling news sites who reported it two months before it happened but did include renee his wife aj lee and aew commentator Jim Ross. Apparently, JR and Punk still text, and he counts him in his inner circle. Sam Punk to AEW confirmed. But while Punk is still playing coy about an in-ring return, another major wrestling name has confirmed they will be back. Who's that Pokemon? It's Goldberg. It's, it's Bill Goldberg. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Goldberg confessed that he wasn't happy with his SummerSlam squash match against Dolph Ziggler, as I'd lost my mojo, baby. I added the baby. But he was greatly appreciative of Ziggler's professionalism and can't thank him enough. And he's now revealed that match won't be his last. It's by no means my farewell performance, nor was it my best performance, but you have to be realistic and take all things into consideration. It's a very good possibility I'll be back, but you don't know it until it's 
done. Where do you want to see Goldberg return? Vote by clicking the eye above my head. Raw's creative director Paul Heyman reportedly sees Goldberg as a character who can keep making one-off special returns as WWE's unofficial sheriff. Similar to Bruno Sammartino's role near the end of his WWF career in the 80s. You'd imagine the most likely next appearance would be in the Royal Rumble to set up a WrestleMania match. But knowing this company sometimes, he'll randomly return in Team NXT at Survivor Series this Sunday. Speaking of, Triple H has apparently had some backstage clashes over Survivor Series at NXT. And check out our new highlights video of Raw with me and Luke. It's like a new cut down thing, it's really good. Oh, Jesus Christ. So many people staring at me. I've been Ollie Davis, and I was wrestling. <laughs>